everyone was so welcoming and it was just like in instant like family. Today I'm talking with Kendall Simmons, a captain of the 2020 team and a communications major from Brantford, Connecticut. I went into school undecided. I didn't want to do something in like art, but I know that with communication and marketing, there's a lot of creativity and especially marketing and advertising, there's a lot of creativity and you're allowed to kind of just like have your own ideas and make make it how you want it, want it to be. Something that surprised me about school as a freshman was that I thought that um, classes were gonna be like really big lectures and like really stressful and like stuff like that. But um, I actually ended up being a lot of classes that were only like 20 people. It was great because you get to know your professors like so much better and you actually can, you know, make a connection with them. And that was a good, something that was a good surprise for me because I was nervous about having really big classes and I didn't, so. What's your favorite thing about being on the team? One of my favorite things about being on the team is having like that instant family. Definitely having such a big group of like close friends is a great thing about being on a team for me. What's your favorite thing about campus? I personally really liked about campus that there's always things going on like in the quad and outside of the library, like fairs and days where they'd give out food or they would, um, I don't know, it's just like you're always, you always, there's always something to do on campus. I really like loved having the opportunity to be on campus and just like do, do things all the time. It was so nice. Tell me about a teammate who inspires you. Um, a teammate who inspires me is Bailey Takis. She puts in so much work on the field. She puts in so much work in the classroom and she is just like such a nice person, genuine person. And I've always just really like looked up to her, honestly, even like, even though she's younger than me. What's your biggest academic challenge? I think my biggest academic challenge is um, trying, to, well, trying to balance like everything is just like schoolwork, lacrosse, um, you know, social life. And there's everything that you want to do in college and you have to, just to make that designated time, it's just like time management. And like, there's always something to do. You have to choose school over doing something else. What do you hope to do after college? Um, after college, I hope to work with a sports team so I can do athletic communications for them. And being an athlete in college has really helped me like understand athletic communications and also just um, how athletes feel and how, what they need and everything. Um, so I kind of have that inside perspective of that. What made you choose to become the head coach at Southern? You know, I, I had been around for a couple of years, but I wasn't there every day. I wasn't even there most of the time in the spring, in season. Um, so I'd gotten to know you a little bit, but when I ran fall ball, um, I really, I just basically said to myself, I, I, this is a group of people I want to be around. I win or lose. I know we, everyone was dedicated. I knew we were going to improve and we did. We pr improved tremendously because of the dedication and the love you guys have for the sport and each other. So it's a really special culture in that way. And I'm really happy to kind of lead it now and, and hopefully maintain that culture as we build the roster and, and become a better program.